start around the, the general squad update, just kind of a talk of a few players carrying eagles over the last few days. Everyone seems to be training out there. Are you all good to go for this weekend? Yeah. Aside from Dan and Craig, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, everyone trained today. Um, Hef and Doki came in as well and, and took part of the first session. Uh, but yeah, everyone apart from Dan and, and Craig uh, were available and trained. Um, how pleased have you been with the, the reaction this Saturday from what you've seen on the, the pitch this week? Uh, yeah, listen, uh, we wouldn't expect anything any different from the lads. Uh, I think when you put in a performance that doesn't match the, the levels that, that the lads have put in across the last couple of seasons, then there's, there's clearly disappointment and uh, there's no better group to uh, take responsibility for that and, and you know get a second opportunity this weekend. On Saturday when we spoke to Andy, he said probably the, the energy in defence in that, in that early part of the game was something that frustrated. Um, what have you seen on review? What have you picked out of the game since? Yeah, I guess they, they put the ball into space, which um, we anticipated, but we didn't deal with that uh, as well as we should have done. Um, and you know, sometimes the team will, will find a way to, to, to get into space, and you know, we didn't shut that down uh, in the way that we would normally do. Uh, and there's, there's plenty of, of fixes for that, but essentially we, we have to be, be better uh, this weekend, both sides of the ball, especially in the first half. Um, but as the game went on, we, we grew massively into the game and finished stronger. So we'll take a lot of confidence from that. But you can't give a side like South Africa the type of space that we, we allowed them uh, because they, they've got too many quality players to, to put you under pressure and, and take advantage of that space. What do you think that was? Is that like a communication thing or is it technical or um, I think it's a, it's a little bit, I think if you lose a few collisions, then you're on the back foot and then you know, the, it's, a, it's a bit of a sort of a spiral of, of uh, negativity in terms of, you know, you've got to try and create something within that, whether that's the comms, whether that's uh, individuals uh, working a little bit smarter and, and finding a way to, to find solutions. Um, so it's, it's a, probably a combination, Murray, of things that we didn't quite get right in that that first 20 minutes when they got some, some decent gains from us. Uh, but like I say, I think after half time we fixed a lot of those things and, and it made us much more difficult to, to break down. Uh, and I thought in the second half we were we were much better both sides of the ball. Were you surprised at the Seagull style of play and the approach to the game? Uh, in terms of... The, the, the expansion? No, um, no, I think uh, they've... they've you know, the, the ability for them to play to that, that sort of space, the width, uh, has, has always been there. Um, they can play a couple of styles of, of game, can't they, with their, their four pack and the ability to, to try and win the game and win the collisions a little bit tighter. But they also have, uh, um, since we've been playing them in the last few years, they've had incredible um, sort of backs that can play to space, play with footwork, play the kicking game. Uh, and with Tony Brown's inclusion as well, I think that, that adds a little, another dimension to the way that they can attack. So I'm, I'm sorry, but it does make it more difficult to defend against because, um, you know, they used to maybe bash it up and then go away. They now go away almost the first phase um, when you still got to defend those the, the big guys coming around line. So it, you know, it stretches your defence a little bit. It has to make it a bit trickier to get a read on, on how to defend. Uh, not really. I, I think, like anything, you... you you win the collision, uh, it makes it easier for you to, to play a number of different ways. It's, it's harder when the ball is slower to, um, um, you know, to, to play to, to maybe that space uh, earlier. Uh, we allowed them probably to gain some front football and, and therefore that gives them an opportunity to play through us or, or play, play wider. When, when you win collisions in defence and when you're able to create you know, time and tackle and, and, and slow the speed of ball up, then it becomes much more difficult for a team, like any team, to, to, uh, to, to put the ball to, to the space. If they do, then I think they're doing that on, on your terms as, as of a defensive team as opposed to their terms. So we, we, we know that we can be better in that area, making sure that we, we defend off nine, but also defend, defend wider out. And, and you know, to be fair to, uh, to most teams in the world now, that they're, they're they're multifaceted and you've got to be able to defend more than one way. Final question in this section. Simon, what do you make of the new, obviously, announcement and change side? 
Yeah, um, obviously a vote of confidence after their victory, and, and you know, and it's, it's, um, yeah, it's it's not unusual, I guess, but but maybe it um, it, it gives those guys to back up a, a, another performance. Um, so it's it, we expected probably a similar type of team, and and they've gone with the same 23, which makes it. Uh, Maybe makes it a little bit easier previewing them because we know um, we know a lot of their individuals and, and we're aware of a lot of their strengths uh, within their team. Okay, that's it for the live section. The rest